welcome. I'm Molly. I'm your yoga teacher and your PT. Today we're going to do a yoga class. Um, it's going to be class one of four in our December series. This class is based around the idea of hope. So it's going to be a really nice, expansive, growing balance practice, both balance on our feet and a little bit of arm balance with crow pose. Um, this whole series is based on the Advent calendar. If you are a Christian, this is the month of December where we remember the coming of Jesus, of Christ, our Savior. Um, and it's a season of waiting and hoping and kind of yearning, remembering that we are not there yet. We don't quite have it all, like full eternal life yet, but we look forward to the time where we will. Um, if you're not Christian, no worries. You're going to enjoy this balance practice anyways, growing from kind of the ground upwards. Um, and, you know, I think we can all relate to the fact that we have growing pains. We're not quite there yet. We're learning. We're becoming better people. We're becoming our more authentic selves. Um, so just keep that idea of hope in your mind as we practice. So hoping for a better future, hoping to fully grow into ourselves. So that's the theme of this class. The next one will be, there's different advent calendars, but one that I found um, was hope was the first week of advent, then peace, then joy, then love. So we'll kind of follow those themes. Please join whether you are a Christian or not. Like I said, they're going to be um, just vinyasa based flows. So really enjoyable regardless. I will put a scripture reading down below, but otherwise you can kind of think about the themes in your own head and your own heart. Um, you don't need any props. Just grab your mat and we'll get started. Today we're going to begin in a nice narrow legged child's pose. So bring your knees into touch, your ankles into touch, your forehead resting down on the mat, and then your arms down by your sides. Let your shoulder blades separate behind you. And just take a nice, easy rock and roll on your forehead, swaying your hips side to side. Tune into your breath, maybe creating ujjayi breath, that nice smooth ocean sound by contracting the back of your throat slightly. Letting this bring a little bit of ease into your day. Still rocking or finding stillness if you would like. See if you can soften through your low back space. Broaden across your kidney bands. And take three more breaths here. Good. Last inhale into your nose. Big exhale out of your mouth, release. See if your body can grow heavier down into the earth. Good, now stretch your fingertips forward. Keep your legs as they are. As you inhale, I want you to lift your elbows. Think about unfurling your spine into extension. So think cow pose, reaching your chest forward through your shoulders. And then on exhale, belly hugs down into thighs, round through your spine, drop your elbows and tuck your chin. Inhale, think cow pose, lift the elbows, broaden through the collarbones. Exhale, belly rest down onto thighs, elbows release, head releases. Think cat. Three more, inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Breathe in and lift your elbows up. Energetically pull your fingertips backwards as you pull your heart forwards. Exhale, release down, soften. And last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Inhale, lift your whole body, your shoulders to stack over your hips. And then exhale, release your fingertips behind you. 
As you breathe in, press through the tops of your feet and your shins as you extend your hip points forward, drop your head back. Exhale, stay. Breathe in, see if you can puff your heart up a little bit higher. And then exhale, lower hips to heels. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips. Breathe in, rise up to tall, kneeling onto your shins, arms reach overhead. Stretch your fingertips high, don't worry about back bending. I just want us to extend and find length through our side waist. Good, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, balance on your left knee and shin. Bring your right knee to chest. And then exhale, extend that right heel down to the mat. Fold into your half splits. Inhale, halfway lift. Pulling the heart forward, tugging your toes back. Exhale, fold. Kickstand your left foot underneath you. Inhale, modified side plank. Plant your left hand at the back of your mat. Reach your right arm overhead. Good. Exhale, plant your right hand at the back of the mat. Find this modified tabletop. So left knee is planted, ball of the right foot is planted. Inhale, three-legged dog, send your left heel high. Press through your hands to find your down dog shape. And then exhale, lower your the right knee to the mat. Still extend that left leg. Drop your chest and your chin to the mat. Curl your toes towards the back of your skull. Good, breathe in. Breathe out, push to your modified uh, tabletop. Inhale, three-legged dog, left heel high. Exhale, lower right knee, lower chest and chin. Inhale, curl your toes towards the back of your skull. Exhale, push to tabletop, straighten your left leg. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, lower right knee down to modify tabletop. And then lower your chest and chin. Inhale here. Engage your back body, your glutes, your hamstrings. And then exhale, tabletop. Two knees, two hands to the mat. And then lower your hips to your heels. Find your narrow-legged child's pose. Moving through the three rounds of our cat-cow here. Inhale. Lift the elbows, pull the chest forward through the shoulders. Exhale, belly softens, the thighs lowered, elbows down. Breathe in, think cow spine. Breathe out, round into your cat. Last one here, inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, shoulders stack over hips. Breathe out, release your fingertips behind you. Inhale, press the tops of your feet and shins into the mat. Extend your hip points to the sky. Pretend someone is pushing on your back pockets. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, tall kneeling, arms overhead. Stretch your fingertips nice and tall. Exhale, stay. Relax your shoulders down your back. Inhale, left knee into chest, balancing on the right leg. And then exhale, extend, straighten your left leg, lower your heel to the mat, fold into your Ardha Hanumanasana half splits. Inhale, halfway lift, think flat back. Exhale, fold down. Kickstand your right foot underneath your body, plant the blade edge of your left foot down. Inhale, modified side plank, left arm overhead, right hand down to the mat. And then exhale, left hand matches the right, face the top of your mat again. We'll move through our modified tabletop and three-legged dog. So tuck the left toes, inhale, three-legged dog, reach the right heel high, press through your palms, square the hips by wrapping the right hip down. And then exhale, lower right knee down, lower chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, breathe here, curl your left toes in towards the back of your skull. And then exhale, modify tabletop, left leg extend straight behind you. Toes to the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, right heel high. Exhale, lower back down. Chest and chin release as well. Inhale, engage the left glutes. 
And exhale, push. Modified tabletop. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, lower back down. Last one here. I think I did the wrong side. So if you found that you did the same side, just make sure you switch it up. No worries. If you need to pause and catch up, that's fine too. Good. Find tabletop when you're done with that. And just sway your hips from side to side. Good. Find an active child's pose, so tuck your toes under, send your hips back towards your heels, stretch your fingertips long in front of you. On an inhale, we're going to send our right leg forward to the outside of our right hand, keep the left knee planted, so kind of a modified lizard runner's lunge, pulling your heels of your hands backwards, and then stretching your collarbone long. Exhale, half splits with this wide base of support, straighten-ish into your right leg. Breathe in to bend into the right knee, pull the heart forwards, and then press through your palms. Right knee meets the left, sit back onto your heels, active child's pose. Other side, inhale, left foot floats up, lands beside the left hand, runner's lizard lunge. Exhale, shift the hips back, straighten into your left knee, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, your low lunge variation. Press strong through your palms, left knee meets the right, active child's pose. Good. Adding on just a little bit, inhale, right foot to the outside of the right hand. Exhale, shift back into your half splits. Feel the back body lengthening. Press through your palms, inhale, active squat, so left foot comes on the outside of the left hand. Fingertips are still on the mat, but you're really engaging through your lower body, pressing your heels down onto the mat. And then exhale, wide legged forward fold, or medium, medium base of support. So let the head drop heavy, extend through your spine. Breathe in, find your active squat with fingertips planted. And then exhale, left knee plants behind you, straighten into your half splits. Breathe in, runner's lunge with back knee planted. Breathe out, active child's pose, right leg meets the left. Moving through the other side, inhale, left foot outside of left hand. Exhale, lengthen through the back body, through the hamstrings, half splits. Breathe in, pull your heart forward. Good. Breathe out, right foot outside of right hand. Inhale to pull your heart forward again. Exhale, forward fold, straighten to the legs, release the crown of your head nice and heavy. Inhale, bend into your knees, turn your toes out more if you need. Active squat. And then exhale, right leg lands behind you, straighten into the left, half splits. Bend into your left knee, runner's lunge variation. And then exhale, active child's pose. Three breaths here. Hmm. Inhale, make sure your fingertips are stretching nice and forward. On an inhale, you're going to bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. This time, lift the left knee up. So a high lizard lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Right fingertips to the sky, left hand stays planted. And then exhale, bend your right elbow. Place your hand on the back of your skull. Breathe here to open the chest more. Pull that right hip underneath your body. And then exhale, right elbow comes to the inside of the right foot. See if you can almost tap the mat. Inhale, open that elbow up to the sky. Exhale, curl it in. Really stretch through the front of your left hip and the underside of your right thigh. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Good, release your left knee to the mat. Inhale, open up into exalted low lunge. Right hand on the left foot, 
left arm overhead. Good. And then exhale, we're going to find Skandasana, bend into the right knee. Left heel is planted, left toes are reaching up to the sky. Breathe in, and breathe out, lower the hips, lower the right knee down, internally rotate your right leg. Hands frame the left calf, inhale, reach your heart forward, exhale, fold down. Good, inhale, pop back up into your Skandasana, use your hands if you need. And then exhale, shift nice and low over to Skandasana, into the left knee. Breathe in, see if you can find some buoyancy here. Breathe out, lower hips to the mat, release right hand behind you. Sweep your left arm overhead, modified wild thing, lifting your hips to the sky. And then exhale, lower it down, revolve your whole body to the back of the mat. Modified pyramid, straighten over the left leg, right heel is lifted. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Three-legged dog reaching the left heel high. And then see if you can find some balance here. Try to lift one finger on the right hand off the mat. Two fingers. See if you can balance on one finger. And if you're able, lift your whole right hand off the mat, stretching it behind you. Breathe in. Good. Breathe out. Lower two hands, two feet to the mat. Knees release. Sit back into your active child's pose. Two breaths here. See if you can cultivate that feeling of growing into yourself. So finding that hope. Feeling expansive. Being okay with the fact that we're all working on it. All right, next in breath, left foot to the outside of the left hand, right knee lifts. High lizard lunge. Plant into your right hand. Inhale, sweep left fingertips high, easy twists. And then exhale, bend your left elbow, plant your hand on the back of your skull. Inhale to open your chest. Exhale, left elbow drops to the inside of left foot. Back knee remains lifted. Inhale, elbow magnetizes up to the sky. Exhale, lower down. Last one, inhale. And exhale, lower down. Right knee releases to the mat. Cartwheel your arms open, left hand behind you, right hand up to the sky, exalted low lunge. Good. Exhale, Skandasana, bend into your left knee. Pop the right toes off the mat, breathe in here. Breathe out, lower your hips, internally rotate so your left knee comes towards the inside of your right thigh, hands frame your right calf. Breathe in to extend through your spine. And breathe out to fold. Inhale, come back to your skandasana, use your hands if you need. And then exhale, shift the hips nice and low, bending into the right knee, straightening the left. Skandasana is to the top of the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, release hips down, left hand behind you. If you have the space, open up into your modified wild thing. Hips to sky, right arm overhead. And then exhale, shift your whole body to fold over the right leg, modified pyramid. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hand and fold. Nose to knee. Three-legged dog, right heel high. And then play around with the balance here. So if you want to lift a couple fingers of the left hand, or if you want to try to stretch the whole arm behind you. Good. Take one more breath where you are. And then exhale, two hands, two feet to the mat. And then we'll land in our down dog here. Good, release knees to mat. Sink hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, lift your body up into our tall nail position, arms reach high overhead. And then exhale, tuck your toes underneath you, see if you can pop your knees off the mat, hands to heart, toe stand. 
Good. Now, pretend you have stiletto high heels. I want you to really push your toes in the mat. Lift your heels even higher as your knees hug in towards your body. And see if you can rise nice and slow. Come to stand balancing on your toes. Take a breath in here. Stretch your fingertips high. And then exhale. Actually, we'll lower back down through our toes again. So keep the heels lifted. Nice and slow. Hug your inner thighs together. Hips down to heels. See if you can lift your knees in towards your body once more. Use your arms in front of you for balance if you need. Good. And then lower knees to the back. Find our tall meal. Inhale, arms overhead. Hips press forwards. And exhale. Two hands, two knees to the mat. Tabletop pose. Good. Make sure your toes are tucked. Press through the L shape of your index and thumb finger. And then glide your hips high, downward facing dog. Feel into the left and the right side of your body. And take three breaths. Good. Plant through your left foot. Inhale, three-legged dog. Square the hips, right heel high. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Curl your leg in towards your body. Tiger curl. Three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, right knee to left elbow across the body. Once more, inhale, three-legged dog. And then exhale, right knee to the outside of the right hand. Plant the foot down. Good, inhale to our lizard lunge variation. And then exhale, modify pyramid. Good, swivel that left heel down, inhale, open up, warrior two, cartwheel the arms. Weight is in the blade, outer edge of each foot. Right knee is tracking over right big toe. Good, inhale, reverse your triangle, so straighten into right leg. Feed that left arm down your left leg. So bend into your warrior two. Moving with the breath. Inhale, reverse warrior, reverse triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in and straighten. Side body stretch. Breathe out, your Vajrasana two. Take one more inhale here to stretch your fingertips far away. And then exhale, both the hands frame the right foot. Inhale, three-legged dog, right heel high. And then exhale, feed that right knee in towards your body and then out to the left side, setting up for a fallen triangle. Left heel swivels down. Inhale, left fingertips reach high. And exhale, lower your hips to the mat, keeping this nice wide-legged position. Left hand plants on the outside of left hip. Inhale, hips pressed to the sky. Modify fallen triangle. Exhale, lower hips back down. Right hand plants at the top of the mat. Inhale, fall in triangle this time. Left fingertips reach forward. Good. And then see if you can solidify through your left foot. Wrap the right knee around the left. Sink your hips to your heels. Good. Inhale, left hand plants. Swivel on the ball of the left foot. So the toes are facing the other way. Keep the knees crossed. Hover hips to heels. Right hand lifts off the mat. Inhale, side plank, tree variation, right knee high to the sky. And then exhale, plant that right foot at the top of the mat. Inhale, stork pose, press through the right leg, bring your left knee high. Exhale, standing pigeon, cross your left ankle over the right knee, sink your hips low. Working on lots of balance today. Take one more breath in. Press your heart into your thumbs. Take one more breath out. See if you can sink a little deeper. Next breath, lift your left knee to the sky, stork pose. And then exhale, airplane. Swing your arms behind you to follow the left heel. Spine is nice and long. Inhale, warrior three, fingertips extend. Exhale, lower left heel, find your warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. 
and then exhale, half, poop, half, half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. So launch into the right leg, fingertips on the mat or on a block for support. Stack your left hip on top of the right. Open your chest to the sky, gaze can follow. See if you can stay long through the side waists. Take one more breath in. Good. And then exhale, plant your fingertips, left foot meets the right. Four fold Uttanasana. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold and release. Start to bend into your knees, finding our toe stand. So, kneecaps point in front of you, hips lower onto heels, hands to heart. Take a breath in, find those really high heels, hug your knees in towards your chest, reach your hands forward if you need. Good, and then see if you can slowly, slowly lift up to standing, balancing on the balls of your feet. If you lose your balance, totally fine. Take a breath to extend your fingertips up to the sky. And then staying balanced, staying in your toes pose, lower back down. Nice and slow, just ride the breath. Good, inhale, hug your knees in towards your chest, arms forward. And then exhale, plant your hands at the top of your mat, setting up for crow pose. So knees will nestle on the back of the triceps, behind the armpits. And then we're going to lean our weight forward to the fronts of our finger pads until our feet become really, really light and able to pop off the mat. Hug your heels in towards your glutes. See if you can straighten through both elbows. Finding crane. Gaze this forward. Take one more breath. And then exhale. If you want, you can shoot your legs back. Land your elbows in a bent position, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Moving through the other side. Inhale, left heel high, three-legged dog. Wrap the left hip down. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Hug the front body up into the back body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog once more. Exhale, left knee to the outside of the left elbow. Take a breath in, hug it up higher. Exhale, lower down. Good, high lizard lunge. Take a breath to pull the chest forward. And then exhale, swivel right heel down, cartwheel arms open. Virabhadrasana two. Weight is on the blade edge of the right foot, sinking down into the left knee. Chest opens to the right. Breathe in, reverse your triangle, straighten. Breathe out, sink into your warrior two. Two more times with your breath. Nice and slow. Last inhale. Last exhale. Good, take one more breath. Grow your arms long. Exhale, hands frame the left foot, cartwheel them down. Press your palms, three-legged dog, left heel high. Exhale, left knee fishes underneath the body, out towards the right side, right heel swivels down. Ball and triangle, right hand up to the sky. Exhale, lower hips to mat. Right hand plants on the outside of right hip. Lift your hips up, modified ball and triangle. And exhale, lower back down. Left hand to the top of the mat. Fall in triangle this time. Right fingertips reach forward. And then solidify into your right foot. Wrap your left knee over your right. Sink hips to heels. Good. Plant right hand. Swivel on the right foot. Toes face the other side. Hips sink to heels. Hand to heart. Breathe in. Tree pose side plank. Left knee is bent, right knee is bent as much as you need to keep that big toe planted. And then exhale, left foot plants at the top of the mat. Press firm into the left foot, stork pose, right knee to chest. And then exhale, cross right ankle over left knee, standing figure four. Take a breath in to push your heart into your thumbs. 
Extend through your spine and take a breath out to sink deeper. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your right knee, start pose. And then exhale, airplane. Arms swing back to follow the right heel. Wrap the right hip down, hug the left femur into your body. Warrior three, fingertips extend in front of you. And then exhale, bend softly into the left knee. Find your warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, arch and drasana, setting up for half moon. Bend slightly into the left knee. Fingertips on the outside of the left foot or on a block. And then breathe in to open your body up to the right, stacking right hip on top of left, stacking right shoulder on top of left. Engage through the outer right glute. Two breaths here to find your shape. See if you can find length from left sit, hip bone through left armpit. One more breath here. And then exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, plant the right foot down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Start to bend your knees, hug them into your body as you lift your heels off the mat. Finding our toe stand, hands to heart. Option to lift the knees even higher in towards the armpits, arms out for balance, and then rise slowly, slowly, hugging inner thighs together. Come to stand. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, and then exhale, hands lower down into heart center as you find your toe stand again. Inhale, knees up into armpits. And then see if you want to take curl again. So you can keep a nice bent elbow variation with the knees kind of further down towards the elbow. Or you can keep those knees hugging in high towards the armpit and find straight arms for a crane. Whatever you want to do. Or you can hang out in Lhasana, toe stand, whatever you're feeling today. Wherever you are, stay for three more breaths. If you're in curl or crane, see if you can hug your heels closer in towards your glutes for two. Press firm through your palms for one. And then shoot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, close your eyes. Feeling into your breath. Feeling into that expansion, that heat we're building. Good, just let your eyes open if you close them. And then walk your feet in slightly to a little more narrow down dog stance. Inhale, reach your heels high. Exhale, drop them over to the left. Bending into the left knee a little more than the right. Feel the nice side body stretch along the right ribs. Inhale, heels lift, legs straighten. Exhale, drop them over to the right. Inhale, heels lift, back to center. Exhale, drop them over to the right. This time, breathe in, find your tree pose. Side plank, right hand to the sky, right knee to the sky. Bend as much as you need into the left knee to find that big toe plugged into the mat. Take one more breath. And then float that right foot to the top of the mat beside the left hand. Lower left knee to the mat. Inhale, find a twist, right fingertips to the sky. And exhale, twisted lizard lunge. Curl left heel into bum. Reach back. Just take one breath here. And then exhale, right hand on the inside of your right foot, left knee plucks up off the mat. High lizard lunge. Take a breath in. And then exhale, see if you can come into a modified, a supported warrior three. Hands are on the inside of the right foot, so playing a little more with that balance. Right knee is bent, left heel is shooting back behind you. 
Crown of the head is reaching forward. Take one more breath. Exhale, stay. Press the ground away underneath your right leg. Inhale, sword pose. Right knee, or left knee high. And then find tree pose. So plant the left sole of the foot anywhere along the inside of the right leg. You can kick stand it down if you need more support. The higher you go, the more difficult it will be. Um, but try not to push really hard outwards right at the knee joint. So find your shape here. Hands will start at, hand, at heart center. And breathe here. Feeling the right foot really, really active. All those intrinsic foot muscles. Arms reach overhead. Find Kali Mudra. So all fingers are interlaced, but release your index and thumb. Take a breath to grow long through the side waist. And then exhale, see if you can side bend over to the left. Playing with the balance. Always finding a different variation if you need. Take one more breath in. Exhale back to Vrikshasana tree, hands to heart. Inhale, stork pose, left knee, now face the center. And then exhale, send the ball of the left foot back. Lower the left knee. Find a half split, fold over the right leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Two more, just like that. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Bend into your right knee. Plant the toes onto the mat. Left hand underneath you for support. Inhale, twist the lizard blend. It will hold it for a few. So you have the option to keep the right big toe plugged into the mat, or if you want, you can splay the knee out to the side, rolling onto the outer edge of the right foot. If you're able to stay long through the side waist, feel free to lower your left elbow down. Five breaths here. Feeling the right shoulder open, gazing up to the sky for two. One, gently release without slingshotting. Hands on the inside of the right foot. Inhale, high lizard lunge, pluck the left knee off the mat, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot meets the left. And then we're gonna move through the other side. So inhale, both heels lift. Exhale, drop them over to the right, bend into the knees, nice, juicy side body stretch. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, heels drop to the left. One more over to the other side with your breath. Good. Right limb stay planted. Inhale, tree pose, side plank. Left fingertips, left knee up to the sky. As you're feeling stable, you can try to straighten more into the right leg. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, float the left foot nice and slowly to the top of the mat, release right knee down. Inhale, twisted lizard lunge, cartwheel that left hand back to capture right ankle. Just take one breath in. And then one breath out, slowly release left hand plants on the inside of the left foot. Tuck the back toes, inhale, high lizard lunge. And exhale, modified pyramid. Straighten into the left knee. Good, we're gonna move into our supported warrior three. Hands remain on the inside of the left foot. Bend into the left knee, reach your right heel high. A Little bit of a balance variation. Take a breath in, take a breath out, stamp left heel down into the mat. Push the ground away, rise up, stork pose. And then we're gonna find our Vrachasana tree pose on the other side, placing the right foot anywhere along the inner seam of the left leg. Hands meet in a prayer position. Growing our very tallest, finding as much length 
from your rooted left foot all the way through the crown of your head. If you want to take the variation, arms reach overhead, call you with your grip. And exhale, side bend over to the right. Two more breaths here. Good. Inhale, stork pose, left knee faces forwards. And then exhale, slowly hinge your body. Land that right leg behind you. Land the right knee, straight into the left. Ardha Hanumanasana. Three breath cycles to find your spinal waves or stay in stillness. Exhale, release heavy. Then bend into your left knee. Plant your right hand for support. Twisted lizard lunge. Again, you have the option to keep the kneecap pointing forward or to externally rotate through the hip. Hmm. Slow down here for five or six more breaths. If you took the elbow variation, maybe try that on this side. Soften your right hip down to the mat for three more breaths. Good, last inhale. Exhale, release the grip of your foot without slingshotting. Plant through both hands. Inhale, high lizard lunge. And then exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to take five breaths here, so just feel into each finger pad, feel into each toe. Close your eyes down. Really noticing all your little micro movements that keep you stable. Three more breaths. And big exhale out of your mouth, lower your knees to the mat. Sit your heels, hips onto heels. And just rest in your kneeling position, hands in your lap or on your heart. And feel the breath start to slow and your body start to soften. The back of the neck is nice and long. And then we'll find our narrow legged child's pose, forehead rests on the mat, fingertips stretched behind you. Just find those rocks. We'll end how we began. Hip swing from side to side for a nice little back release, or if stillness suits you better, take that. Three more breaths. Good. If you'd like to release into any final stretches or Shavasana, please feel free. Otherwise, come to a seated position, legs crossed, hands on your knees. We'll take one more inhale together, grow the crown of the head nice and tall, puff your chest out slightly. Big exhale out of the mouth. <sighs> Hands meet a heart or third eye. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that nice, expansive balance practice. We worked through the side body a good bit, some through the hips, and then arm balance with crow, balance with our tree. Hope you liked it. If you did, if you felt any idea of hope, please share below. Um, and then share with others so they can practice alongside us. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next time.